something I've struggled with on the golf course during tournaments or sometimes even non-competitive rounds is feeling uh, anxiousness or nerves, pressure, maybe on an important putt, first tee, things like that. I think a lot of people can relate to that. What's your best advice for dealing with pressure and anxiety on the golf course? Uh, good, good topic of conversation, Paul. Um, I think the two best things uh, that I've ever been handed to me as far as pieces of advice are uh, just going through each of those scenarios time and time again, getting yourself in that position again, because uh, obviously you're not going to win every time, but after a while you're going to figure out how to work work through that, um, whether it's the, the first tee jitters or whether it's uh, trying to win a tournament coming down the stretch knowing you're, le knowing you're leading or winning. Um, the other thing that, that makes a big difference is having a routine that you go through. Most of the people that I see practicing here at San Pedro don't don't have any kind of a routine. And uh, the pre-shot routine is, is sort of the thing that bridges the chasm between your practice and your play. And so, um, you know, Jack Nicholas, one of the greatest of all time, practiced how he played. And so he went through his, his routine on, on virtually every golf shot. And that those two things are pieces of advice that really helped me a lot. Um, in, in pressure. Yeah, I think there's uh, the tournament trail series that we've introduced this year. There's 28 tournaments in that tournament trail series. Uh, probably one of the best chances, or if not the best chance, to familiarize yourself with competition anywhere in any major city in the country. And this would be an opportunity for people to, and they have already, we've, it's been well received, to get into the mix and yeah. become nervous and work through it and, and try to figure out what it's like to stand on a par three um, at Brackenridge number 18 choking your guts out trying not to <laughs> try not to hit it in the water that's the, this is the the platform or the environment that you're able to, to work through that yeah I, think I had an interesting question on a personal note what's the biggest kind of pressure packed moment or the biggest putt or situation you've ever found yourself on the golf course since you have played in college and, and some pro tournaments. Is there one that sticks out maybe that <laughs> you can, good or bad, I don't know. Yeah, um, good would be uh, the putt that I made was about a six foot putt in a playoff uh, to get into the U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. um, I remember that putt very well. Um, it, was a, it was a putt to save par on a very difficult long par four with water all the way down the right side and uh, the gentleman I was competing against was already uh, in the hole for five, and I just had to simply make it for, for a four to, to advance, and, and I did. And I remember stepping away from it, going through my routine again, and then following the same routine I always do and making it. <laughs> so, that's uh, and then are there any books or any anyone else you can point us to that you've had experience with uh, to read up on or learn more about sports psychology or dealing with pressure or anything? Like that, sure. Um, I've worked with a sport, couple of sports psychologists, and also uh, an inexpensive way to uh, to study this is to look at Bob Rotella's material. Um, probably his most helpful piece of info to me was uh, golf is not a game of perfect, and that really helped me understand um, how better players or any player really competes uh, and deals with pressure. And he, in in the book, he even helps. Uh, a mid handicapper try to win his flight in a golf tournament, um, but that's something that's that's very very you know less than probably ten or fifteen dollars. They can learn a lot from those those types of book or that book and those other kinds of books. Yeah, Bob would not be in your own defense. But <laughs> thank you, Greg. For yes, your insight. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah, always glad to help. And uh, I would like I said I would invite people to continue getting into those situ pressure situations in that tournament trail series. That's that is great stuff. Yeah. Thank you.